I used to work with an old timer at our shop and he'd say things like, oh, the train may not be in the station yet, but uh, she's still on time. And then just giggle and walk away between like 9 and 9.30 every day as he disappeared from work. We finally figured out that, that that's the time he allocates to himself the number two every day. Like that guy was so regular, you could set a watch to it, or a, a train in this case. And the not being in the station didn't mean, didn't mean he was necessarily ready, but he had to plan it out that that train was arriving on time. Uh, that guy didn't do anything between like 9 and 9.30 every day, just waiting for the train to come in the station. Well, anyways, I'm pretty sure that's not what this video is about. Uh, let, 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 let's get started, I, I guess. Today we're going to dive deep into a subject that literally none of you have asked for. Well, except for this one person. That one, yeah, I, li I like you. You're, you're my kind of person. Let's just say you got a couple project cars laying around that are making your life worse. Better. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta hit the area where the body filler is for it to be an accurate test of my cars. Better. They're making it better. This year is going to be a serious video. This is a sh no shenanigan free zone. Not, not today. It's going to be 100% on subject. If you are doing a cartwheel where you you don't actually move and you just go upside down but you haven't done the cartwheel yet are you not doing the cart part or are you not doing the wheel part my wife says that it's a handstand um, then she's obviously wrong but I, I believe it's not doing the cart part because if you're not doing the wheel part wheels are round see and that means you've got to spin so it's the cart part if you're not spinning if you've ever installed a vintage air unit or air vintage unit or AC old air vintage or any of those aftermarket AC companies that put something old or vintage in the name before it. A lot of people don't realize that these systems are basically only recirculation systems. Some of these come with plates that actually block off the fresh air vents. But if you don't do that, you just have hot air coming in through vents that the unit doesn't actively suck into the evaporator core to cool the air. So then you just have hot air blasting at you while the cold air also blasts at you. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't work like you want it to. Let me put it that way. But I got a couple different reasons I'm gonna fling your way of why you might wanna block off the fresh air vents on your garbage. So you got your aftermarket AC system not properly utilizing it. One. Number dose, if you've got a fuel injected vehicle, you're not gonna have nearly as many fumes to deal with that you need to air out of the cabin. So you really don't need the fresh air vents as much as somebody that's got a carb does. Number three, are you able to talk yourself into a project and then no matter how bad the project, sorry, how good the project turns out, you will be able to justify and say that project was worthwhile and you did an okay job. Might just be time to pull this thing back in the garage and say it's just not going to have a steering system. If you're capable of doing that, then oh yeah, this, this, this project is right up your alley. If you've got a car that hurts you emotionally, like say like a classic Mustang, and they are notorious for rusting out the cowls and leaking water all over the floor pans and then completely rots out the floor pans, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that car hurts you in ways that only some people understand. Oh, too old for these seductive poses. My crotch will never be the same. This is a 1963 Riviera with an LS swap. So we've already completely thrown out the door, keeping things original and nice. So I used a combination of welding and fiberglass to cover up all the holes in here. All the easy ones are just welded shut, but anything with some crazy angles and lines on her, oh yeah, that was fiberglassed after we did some nice rust treatment to it. Yeah. Yeah, it looked good before I covered it with this black stuff, but... The next step you have to do is seam seal all, all your seams. You and I, we're not, we're not good at things like other people. Yeah, we gotta rub our black cock all over this thing to get her good and whatever... Uh, I also recommend running it over all the bolt heads for like the wiper assemblies and anything else you have running through your cowl. That way there's no chance for water to leak into your car that way. The cowl on it originally, well there wasn't much left of it after all the, the rust got scraped away. So I got a replacement cowl. We took it to our media blasting shop. They did whatever they do to media blast things. I came back, put the nasty spray paint on it. We hit it with the Rust-Oleum Turbo because that's, that's the spray paint of the future. Sweet Lord, baby Jeebus. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description and I'll just apologize to you ahead of time. 
You're gonna hate it, love it. Well, you're going to love that video. Oh yeah, looking real. God dang it, we're start. God damn it, that stupid thing. God dang it. <laughs> about nine years ago, I think, I smashed a, a wrench in the hood about right here. And as you can see, it's pretty dented. So we're gonna use a body dolly hammer tools, uh, AKA a Harbor Freight pair of pliers, and we're gonna bend that back to make it look perfect. Wow, that looks like perfection. But th then we're gonna cover up all my body's flaws with a bed liner. After you clean the hell out of it though. Clean, clean it, clean it good like. Yeah, real good like, get it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't go well, but I got a tip for you for painting with bed liner. It's just gonna blow your minds all over your potatoes. Get way farther away from your parts or twig and berries than you think you need to. Here's why. When you're farther away, it allows the material in the bed liner to actually kind of turn in little droplets and when it hits the part, it'll kind of speckle. But if you get really close to it and do like a gloss layer, it won't do that. This technique works really good for interior pieces. Like some stuff comes out really nice if you actually try and then do this technique with it and it's super durable this way. For our next project, we're in my kitchen. Obviously, this is how I clean my chrome with aluminum foil and uh, in my kitchen sink or, or sometimes a hose out back if the part's bigger. It doesn't really matter, but aluminum foil is the secret here, people. Just look at that nasty pitting. Nasty. So just with a little elbow grease and aluminum foil, it comes out, well, I, I'd say that's less nasty. Um, there's still, it's still not perfect, but um, well, it, it looks better. Than, than before, so that that that's really all we go for around here. And then sometimes I'm also okay with it not looking better than before. Yeah, that would also be fine. A lot of cars have cowls that actually are spot welded into place, but but Buick, no, self-tapping screws is enough for them. Those are my kind of people. We'll put self-tapping screws back in, but then we're gonna put a little bit of silicone on them, and I mean RTV silicone sealant. Don't use household silicone. And in a perfect world, you'd use seam sealer for this, but since my tube dried up because I can't be bothered to, you know, uh, well, do anything properly. In the meantime, I, 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 this is all I had when, and I couldn't be bothered to drive to go get, my, this is, you do something that's not household silicone and you'll be probably okay, maybe, fine. Mm. And there we go, just look at it. Completely finished, 1700 easy, simple steps later. You get a cowl that definitely won't leak water, maybe with a paint system that's not compatible with anything else. I consider that a victory in my book. Just look at all that good work done well. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, that this, uh. And now I'm just gonna track down some wiper blades for this old guy and this old girl will be ready for some action. I, well, probably. Probably not, the, the, the wiper motor probably doesn't work and it, it'll probably still leak water, but you know, we gave it our all. Or in this case, like C's and D's got us a degree. So uh, stay tuned for the wiper blade install video, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. They don't build them like they used to. That are, the, I guess my back, it's not, it's not built like it used to. Here, that'll, that'll really seal the deal. Perfect.